This is where we begin this morning with that horrific news from Detroit's west side. An officer is dead after being shot near Joy Road and Marlowe Street. Police received calls of shots fired in the area, arriving to the scene just after 7.30 last night. The officer, a five-year veteran with the department, was shot shortly after arrival. His partner returning fire, killing the suspect. Officers responded to that scene in mass, comforting each other in the wake of the tragedy, saying enough is enough to gun violence. After weeks of shooting deaths, neighbors in the area say they are sick of the gun violence and pray it comes to an end soon. Well, the investigation into the moments leading up to the shooting continues this morning. The names of the fallen officer and the suspect have not yet been released. Well, this morning, we expect to learn more about a tragic accident at Camp Dearborn in Milford. Michigan State Police say a 10 year old boy fell from a piece of play equipment on the lake Wednesday. Now, according to witnesses, the boy was on a floating play structure when he fell. The child was rushed to an area hospital unresponsive and later died from his injuries. Police believe this is a tragic accident. Well, we turn now to the family of Paul Whelan of Novi feeling slighted by the actions of President Biden. This comes after the president and vice president called the wife of WNBA star Brittany Griner, reassuring her that the White House is working to secure Brittany's release from a Russian prison. Whelan's sister Elizabeth says she's angry her brother is not getting the same level of attention as Griner. She spoke with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan back in May, but has not heard from anyone in weeks, she says. Whelan has been in Russian custody since 2019. It's going to be a brighter day today. Uh, it's also going to be a little hotter outside this afternoon. High temperature 85 degrees today. Bright and sunny through the morning. A few more clouds this afternoon, but the wind's going to stay light. Only around 5 miles per hour out of the north. And uh, tonight, light wind, 67 degrees, partly cloudy. It's slightly more humid overnight tonight. We'll get a slight chance of a few showers Friday.